you giving, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians And choose to be an accountant because it's safe in a business What's up guys, it's that detail guy, Walt from the Detail Spa. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to clean vinyl floors in a work truck. Sometimes they can be pretty tricky. A lot of people like to just take a hose and hose them out. And of course on some vehicles you can get away with that, but we try to avoid it because of the electronics. So I'm gonna show you a simple way you can do it at home with a shop vac and some cleaner and a brush. So today we're using Automagic Special Cleaner Concentrate. This is mixed four to one. The most important thing is to make sure you have all the loose debris vacuumed up. So you let that dwell for, I don't know, a minute, two minutes, depends how bad it is, but you don't want it to dry. Then I'm gonna take a smaller detail brush just to kind of get around the cracks and groove. So once you get all that done, you can switch to a medium bristle brush. If you use one that's too stiff, it doesn't really get everything. It kind of leaves lines, so we're gonna use this. Something too soft doesn't get it. You can pick these up online. Um, I believe autoality.com has them for around uh, four or five dollars. Um, I'll post the link in the description. So this next part is a is a key step. A lot of people, what they'll do at this point is they'll just take a towel and, and suck it up. The problem is you still have a lot of that dirt and mud on there and you're just rubbing it back into there. So you're gonna take a shop vac or a wet dry vacuum, doesn't matter what brand it is, and you're gonna suck up mud. bulk of the liquid up you can see there's still some staining so what we're gonna do is you're gonna take a dirty towel cotton microfiber doesn't really matter and just give it like a light mist you're not gonna go crazy with it give it another scrub All right, so now we got a scrub. We're gonna take our towel. We're gonna wipe it up. You'll notice I put gloves on. I didn't have gloves on before because I wasn't actually coming in contact with the cleaner. I'm gonna use an all-purpose cleaner, degrease and things like that. Safety first. We are going to, first we're gonna blow out these cracks, but afterwards, because you've seen that there was still a little bit of dirt, and because we used a high alkaline cleaner, we wanna neutralize that. We're gonna use a product called Wipeout from American Detailer Garage. Super versatile, you can use it on Windows Dash, paint, chrome, anything. So we'll go ahead and just kind of mist that on there for now, while we blow out our cracks. Safety first when using an air gun, get our headlights on. Boom, boom. This is super important if you're gonna use the air gun. So you have two options. You can use a standard blow gun or today we're gonna use a vortex gun, also called a tornador, whatever. The way it works is, can you get the tube in there? This tube actually spins incredibly fast. I don't know if we can slow it down. I'm gonna cover the cameraman's face while I do this for safety reasons, obviously. Okay, so now we got it out of the cracks. We're gonna go ahead and do our final wipe. So 
you can see way better slight bits of dirt from where I hit some spots we haven't cleaned yet so as you can see this is a super easy project to do at home it's quick um, if we weren't filming this this whole process would take me about two minutes for this thanks for watching as always these videos are completely free just to help you guys out at home all I ask is that you share with a friend thanks